Thanks, Greg. You've made starting a video so much easier. So you're probably wondering, is bowling a real sport or is it just a fun game for people to play? Well, it's actually both. Not only is it fun, but it's highly competitive. How competitive you might ask? Well, back in the peak of bowling in the 80s, if you won one tournament, you could have walked away with $100,000. That's easy money, right? So sure, it may look and sound easy, but to be able to bowl at the elite level, you're going to have to take years of practice to get there. We sat down with Perry to talk about his experience at the U.S. Open this year. My name is Perry Crowell IV. I've been bowling since the age of three. I grew up in the state of Washington. My parents owned a, a 16 lane bowling center, so I grew up in the, in the uh, bowling, bowling industry. So the difference was between this and normal league set is obviously the amount of games that we bowled. Um, you know, Monday, um, we had practice session, or practice session. Um, you know, we bowled on different conditions throughout the week, you know, so we had basically an hour and a half of practice for three different practice, practice sessions. Um, so we, you know, we bowled for, for about four hours on Monday, and then we turn around and we started our competition on Tuesday, which is eight games a day, which takes about three and a half hours. But, um, you know, more, and you do that for three days, and more or less, once you get down to it, you know, you're not really physically tired, you're more mentally tired because it's, it's trying to figure out the correct path to the pocket, uh, figure out what bowling balls to throw, and then trying to just be physically, you know, capable of repeating shots. So as Perry said, it's more mentally exhausting than it is physically. So it's not football and it's not hockey. So I can understand why bowling might not be considered a sport to some. However, Perry did state that his final amount of games bowled that week was 57, which is nothing to scoff at. You have to be a little bit in shape in order to repeat the same process possibly 12 times in one game. My name is uh, Christopher Smith. I am a co-owner and operator of Out of Sight Bowling Pro Shop inside of Universal Lanes uh, in Warren, Michigan. In my opinion, the reason that bowling is overlooked in the sports category is because everybody associates it with a leisure time game. Beer leagues, you know, when you bowl during the week or you're just bowling with family and friends, you're out having a couple drinks, having something to eat. Um, it's become, in that realm, an activity more than people consider it a game or a sport, um, which is, is very wrong for anybody to assume that if they haven't gotten into the level that some of, or most all of the professional bowlers have gotten to. Really the hardest thing to learn at this point is patience. A lot, most all of the bowlers now have the talent but it's the, the guys that excel, or girls, um, are the ones that kind of put in the work all the time, the practice, um, to advance themselves. It's, it can't just be based on natural God-given talent. It's definitely worked for, it's attained, it's, it's not given. You know, there's a lot more to it than bowling a couple games a week and thinking you're going to be the number one bowler on the planet. That title currently belongs to Jason Belmonte, the two-handed wonder from Down Under. He is the current record holder for the most amount of majors won in the PBA at the current time of this video's release. He currently holds 13 majors. Jason is the best in the world right now because of his talent, and he works diligently to be the best in the world. 
I could go on and on about how bowling is a sport. There is just so much behind the game from bowling balls and how they're constructed from the core to the surface, to lane typography and oil condition. The invisible enemy to all bowlers. This is a game of mental chess. There is so much that goes into this game. It's a game that no matter what age, health condition, or anything that would prevent you from playing a normal sport like baseball or basketball, you get the point. Bowling is for everyone. It has no limits, and the game is always expanding and always evolving. Go out and truly learn the game of bowling. You won't regret it. Thanks for watching.